we discussed the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation, it should have become obvious that our current United States government is not based on the Articles of Confederation. As the weaknesses of the Articles of Confederation became obvious, the founders, the people that started the United States, got together and replaced the Articles of Confederation with the United States Constitution. That is the document upon which our current system of government is based. So we are going to spend some time looking at the government that the Constitution made. And it's going to become very obvious that this government is different from the Articles of Confederation and a lot of those differences result from the dis not the disputes, the, the problems, the difficulties that were discovered under the Articles of Confederation. So this picture here, this comic, represents the government that was set up by the United States Constitution. There are a couple of things that should be obvious in this picture. It talks about the people an awful lot. It also names the different levels of government, the federal, the state, and the local. And it even gives you an idea of which one is the most powerful and which one is the least powerful, especially because it wasn't even drawn into the picture in the first place, right? So the largest level is the federal level. Each of our individual states also have some power. And then the local level can make rules for uh, like our cities and our counties and so forth. So just take a look at it, gather some information, and you need to think through what this tells you in order to be able to answer some questions. You have a sheet that looks like this. Um, it is two-sided, so you'll want to find the side that says, use the people's power cartoon. So we're going to look through a few of those questions here. First of all, what type of business is shown in the cartoon? So the answer is not government. This cartoon is trying to show you how a, a common business, a business that you are familiar with, might be similar to the government. This is sort of like a simile. Government is like what sort of business? You'll notice I gave you two lines here. So the type of business shown in the cartoon is, so you will need to use a complete sentence in order to answer this first question. Okay. The second question, what is the name of the business? Well, again, usually find the names on signs, right? That would be a good spot to look for the name of the business. The name of the business is, number three is just a list. List the automobiles in order of size from the smallest to the largest. Now, I know there are three blanks. We actually need to add a fourth blank. Why? Well, because three of those automobiles that are named we're already in the picture, but there is a fourth one that has been added. So just list them in order of size. Start with the smallest and end on the line that we added with the very largest. Okay. You could put the names that are on them. You could tell what type of vehicle they are, but make it obvious which one you're talking about. Number four then, which autom automobile is delivering power to the business. So if you look carefully at these four automobiles and you have to infer, you have to use what you already know about the type of business. Three of those automobiles are there to get something from the business. One of those automobiles is there to put something in. 
So one of those is delivering power to the business. That's the first answer. Blank is delivering power to the business. Evidence to prove your answer. So I actually want you to use the words. Evidence to prove my answer is, and then you have to tell how you know one, two, three, or four, which one of those vehicles is putting the power in. Perhaps you have to tell what you know about the three vehicles that are taking power out. You might need an adult's help with this, but this should be familiar enough of a business that you can figure that out pretty easily. Number five asks, which automobiles are going to use the power? And for this, I want you to use the words on each automobile. And I'm just going to abbreviate with auto. So you see how these automobiles have words on them. The three that are taking the power out, the blank, comma, blank, comma, and blank are going to use the power. You put commas between a list since I've asked you for three automobiles, that's sort of a hint. You'll need commas in between those three. These five questions can be answered just with looking at this particular drawing, infographic, informative drawing. Be careful with them and then the next video will take you to the next step.